friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this surgery rexis was difficult postcapsular rent occurred the people became small later in the surgery let us see how all these challenges were tackled in this case by this time the main incision and the side port has been made now I inject an air bubble and beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and now the this is a bit of adrenaline and this is phenocaine with these agents the people dilated little more and now the size of the people is about 5.5 to 6 millimeter if this size of the people remains throughout surgery we will not have any problem but it was not so we will see that the people become very small later in the surgery. Now there is some amount of intumescence in this case and my plan is to do a small rexis first, aspirate some lens matter, decrease the intralenticular pressure and then enlarge the rexis. But as I do this I find that there is some fibrous sheet beneath the anterior capsule and it is firmly attached to the anterior capsule in some places. Aspirate some lens matter and the intralenticular pressure decreases drastically. Whenever we aspirate some lens matter the intralenticular pressure decreases and the tendency of the capsule to run to periphery is reduced to a great extent. So intralenticular pressure has been reduced thoroughly and now the antechamber is filled up with visco again and this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a vanas scissor is taken and I make a cut towards 6 o'clock and as I try to enlarge the rexis as I come to 4 o'clock it is firmly attached to the fibrous sheet which is underneath and as I pull I cause lot of traction to the jonule. So what to do now? Immediately I plan to cut this fibrous tissue along with the anterior capsule. So I make a side port about 2 millimeter wide side port at 6 o'clock. Take a vitreous micro scissor and cut the fibrous sheet along with the anterior capsule here. And now I take the uterite again and I find that the rexis is becoming easy now. That's good. Nice rexis. And now nucleus management.
my plan is to divide the nucleus into some fragments by direct chop so I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and chop it the nucleus is not hard it is brittle and it is getting chopped easily and here what happens the pupil is becoming small size of the pupil is about 3.5 millimeter now however still the case can be managed without using iris hooks or any pupil expansion device And now this is the most tricky part because the posterior capsule is bare, there is no lens matter, no epinucleus, no cortex covering the posterior capsule and there is a high chance of posterior capsule rent particularly if the antechamber is not stable. I took all precautions not to cause a posterior capsular rent but I find that there is a very small rent right at the center very small just a tiny rent at the center what to do now unless I convert this rent into a PCCC posterior continuous curvilinear capsulorexis this will suddenly enlarge to one side and the lens cannot be placed in the back So to place the lens in the bag, I just did a PCCC. And I find that there is no vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber. Inject some more visco. Enlarge the main wound. My first plan is to implant the intraocular lens and then aspirate the cortex. So here goes the intraocular lens. This is a single piece, monofocal, hydrophobic, acrylic intraocular lens. The leading flange goes into the capsular bag and the trailing flange also goes into the capsular bag. So, very nicely the lens is placed in the bag and now we have to remove the lens matter, the remaining lens matter. This is a bit of epinucleus and there are some bits and pieces near the side port and some of these bits are pieces of nucleus small bits of nucleus these are picked on by one and they are removed and now try to go under the, the iris and blindly aspirate some lens matter size of the people has decreased to about 3.5 millimeter at this time 
and to do a meticulous job to clean the cortex nicely I asked for a VHEX people expansion device in this case this is the VHEX people expansion device the leading flange is stuck then the flange at one o'clock is stuck finally the flange at ten o'clock is stuck as I tucked the flange at ten o'clock the people takes a beautiful hexagonal shape the people is enlarged and I have much better visualization and now I am removing the cortical matter from all around here there is some fibrous tissue attached to the anterior capsular rim at two o'clock and three o'clock at first I thought it is cortex but it is not there are some cortex at nine o'clock and eight o'clock and I can remove those cortex now very nicely so without application of this people expansion device this cleaning was not possible I could have used iris hooks but then I have to make about four more stab incisions and now I inject visco and remove the VHEX ring it is very easy to remove, the, remove this device just hold any one flange which is above the iris move it centrally untuck all the flanges and pull it out no injected device is required to remove this VHEX people expander again the people takes about 3 millimeter size as soon as I remove the VHEX ring and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber a thorough lavage only the anterior chamber and just above the intraocular lens is done in this case I didn't try to go behind the intraocular lens in this case because then I will hydrate the vitreous and it will tend to prolapse through it will cause decentration of the lens and it will cause lot of thank you very much for your attention this patient did very well in the postoperative period